perform live, use that big brand of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna need some time on this one, I think. So here's my I come with you with a hot new scenario. Oh god. Um, <laughs> Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> Would you fuck a crock full of beans? <laughs> well, you know what? Let's answer that question. <laughs> how des- It depends on how um, desperate I I'm am. I'm going to say no because I don't want a yeast infection. <laughs> Seems like a good way to get one. <laughs> yeah, as the only person here without a penis, I think you are... Yeah, but if I had a penis, yes. <laughs> that's That's an important caveat that I should have added. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just want to make sure there's no mold growing on that. How old is I it? I will stick my finger in the crock to make sure that it's <laughs> like not too hot. Yeah, yeah. Check yeah. the temperature. You don't want you don't want a classic uh, apple pie scenario. <laughs> my my sorry, my mind just kind of wandered into uh, a crock pot full of crocks. <laughs> and- oh, <laughs> that's good wordplay. Yep, I like that. <laughs> I bet that would like smell that awful. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. It, yeah. Well, that's why you got to add more beans to it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, I'm a vacationer. I've got money in hand. I'm ready to go visit someplace cool. Um, the scenario is you got uh, three are the mayors of your own flavor town. Oh, God. <laughs> Convince me to go visit your flavor town. You can stick your dick in crocs full of beans. <laughs> God damn it. Jairus, why do you have to pull the obvious choice? Um, oh, jeez. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Wait. Well, describe to me your clutch. ideal. Like, Are you town. saying that we're the mayors, hypothetical mayors of a town called Flavorton? Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah. we're trying to convince tourists to come to our town. Yes. Does it have to be food related or? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you just trying to make us come up with really pleasant meals for give you ideas or for the, the rest of the week or something? Are you trying to create the perfect Guy Fieri bait <laughs> so that you can trap him in, a car- in like a cardboard box? Mm. Yes. You nailed it. Michelle, take notes. Okay, all right. Um, I'm taking notes right now. <laughs> uh, My town would definitely have something to do with meat. <laughs> we would just pile the meat oh. on each other. <laughs> just a meat pile? A pile of meat? Yeah, like imagine like fair food. <laughs> okay. Like the town is an actual fair. <laughs> oh, I yeah. like that. I mean, like that. Is... It's just a giant parking lot full of... Dirty carnies. <laughs> it's a giant parking lot full and we've of got, dirty carnies. We've got barefoot pregnant town. women. <laughs> we got 30 year olds town. hitting on 15 year olds. <laughs> I don't we've eat. got deep fried condiments. <laughs> I thought you were going to say deep fried condoms. <laughs> We got those too. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we're just throwing caution to the wind over here. An old. <laughs> County fair Listen, <laughs> our town will not survive unless there's another generation of carnies. Exactly. We have to <laughs> we have to keep the population growing. So we've got, you know, corn dogs and those burgers that you put donuts for buns, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> My brother made fun of me yesterday for for eating that one year at the fair. <laughs> We did what was it like? It made me so sick after yeah, trying. Of course it. It so uh, <laughs> Michelle and I tried one. We we split it, um, which it wasn't too bad if you split it. However, the kicker was that the people we were with were being assholes, <clears throat> and they were like, "We're about to get on the Ferris wheel." And we were like, "Okay, we're gonna eat this burger first. And they were like, "No, we gotta go right now." So we had to scarf the burger down as fast as possible to get uh, on the Ferris wheel. Which was you, not you an can't experience. bring food on the ride, and it was really rough because that's not a thing you eat. Really That's quickly. not a scar- <laughs> scarf down food. No. It was yeah. so fucking <laughs> heavy. So while I, I only like shit on the first, yeah. Meal. So while I only ate half of one, it was still like really bad. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so um, I just don't me, think that's a thing that I'm excited about. 
I, it was good, but I don't think it's ever something to do ever. It's it's one of those things where like if you don't ever do it, you're not really missing that much. Yeah, it's, it yeah. tastes exactly how you think it would. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a sweet burger. Mm. It's a burger and a donut. So. Have you ever had a Hawaiian roll? Yeah. Have, have you ever used it for a burger? Have you ever thought about glazing it with sugar? <laughs> it's that. That makes my teeth. Oh gosh. Itch. <laughs> have you seen on Facebook? Never mind. Sorry. This is. I keep going off topic. To, to, Who two gives factors a shit? of whatever. I don't think it matters anymore. Hutch. <laughs> We're in a post-topic uh, world. That, that's true. <laughs> so, so how um Hawaiian the Hawaiian roll company? I forgot their fucking name now. Um, Kings Hawaiian face, rolls. Kings Hawaiian. They're putting out ads like about like things you can use for, um those rolls for. I mm-hmm. will uh, say one of them- <laughs> we went to Costco uh the other day and we bought two containers of Hawaiian rolls yeah. uh which is four sleeves, like two sleeves per container. Yeah, it's um, a lot. Yeah, we've been doing that a lot recently and now like <laughs> all of my breakfast sandwiches involve Hawaiian rolls and it's mm-hmm. fucking dope. Yeah, those things are fucking amazing. They're really good. But they, so they're trying to put recipes like um, the most absurd one was making a donut out of it. And all they did was they made <laughs> frosting and then poured it over the rolls. I mean, I it's, it. it's absolutely no effort. <laughs> yeah. You don't even deep fry the fucking bread. Look, it's hard to come up with things when you're at home. <laughs> That's amazing. Old Kings Hawaiian, they're at home coming up with some shit. <laughs> I don't, yeah. Just a weird choice to start their, their social media ad push. Is no, all. there's a lot of really weird cooking recipes out there. I don't understand what people are doing, but... It's always it's been pretty... the case, though. There's this, like, Betty Crocker cookbook from the mm-hmm. 60s that's like, yeah. hey, you like hot dogs, you like gelatin, what if you put hot dogs in gelatin? Uh, yeah. And it looks exactly like you'd imagine. Mm-hmm. Ugh, yeah. That 1960s <clears throat> fucking like aesthetic uh, food. What the hell is that? Yeah. there. It's a lot of really gross. It's like triggering my gag reflex right now. Like, I- <laughs> Wow. Sorry. I'm going to puke. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, Hutch, to answer your question um the mine is uh basic as fuck but i would just have like a seafood town be like just a giant fucking seafood buffet with all you can eat crab legs and everything else Ooh, that's good where would people and that's live? only because that's exactly what i want right now <laughs> you said where would people live yeah where Does would they matter? sleep I, I that's don't not care. a town the... you're describing a shopping mall yeah <laughs> There's houses by it. They I don't know. What else? Under- what do you want? <laughs> it's a shrimp-based <laughs> shanty town. <laughs> they live on their houseboats. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Uh, I think my favorite <laughs> town would be called Pizzylvania. Pizzylvania. Nice. I like it. Ooh. Um, I like it. And is it, it also would... vampire themed? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It is themed around <laughs> pizza and Draculas. <laughs> Yeah, so we have all there. of the pizza styles. We've got uh, New York style, a slice of <laughs> slice of pizza. Um, we've got garbage <laughs> Chicago lasagna. Um, we've got Detroit flaming tire fires. <laughs> um, and we've got flatbreads with kale. Okay. For <laughs> you know the people who go to a pizza place and get a flatbread with kale, you know what really pisses me off? Oh yeah, when kale? like people get vegetarian pizzas and I've seen them come out and they have goddamn raw broccoli on them. That pisses me yeah, off. Yeah, that's bullshit. Whoa, don't you yeah. have friends that eat that? Yeah, that's where I saw it. it pissed like, me off. <laughs> a, a pizza with onions, peppers, tomatoes, <clears throat> like. Steph gets just a shit pile of tomatoes on a pizza and then extra cheese. And that's Mm -hmm. a really good vegetarian pizza. Like broccoli is not a pizza, a bowl vegetable. Yeah. It's like if you got carrots on it or something, it's like, no, that's not a pizza topping. Like if you put a (laughs) potato on it, like get out of here, you fucks. Fucking idiot. That requires time. (laughs) Put some onions on there, some peppers. 
I'm I'm so basic when it comes to like uh life pizza anyways. Yeah, it's true. But mostly pizza. Like I'm either a pepperoni, I'm either a meat lover, or I'm either a cheese. Like, I those like are my vegetables options. on my pizzas. If I eat veggies on it, I might get like we don't ever onions get it, though. or <laughs> mushrooms. I like black olives. I, I like those. I like uh onions, black olives, <clears throat> uh green peppers. I mean I, I like I like banana peppers. Ooh, I'm not pepper yeah. fan. I don't like peppers mm-hmm. on my pizza. Not yep. since mm-hmm. the incident. <laughs> The pepper incident. Not ever, but especially <laughs> since the incident. I don't. I don't think I've eaten a yeah. pepper since uh, for for pleasure at all. <laughs> you, eat for pleasure. Pleasure. you don't get excited to eat a bell pepper like an apple. No, any uh, no, not any. I, I think I've no. I think I've passed on peppers just about. Completely. Honestly, I had a pepper like an apple the other day, and it wasn't that good. <laughs> oh yeah, you did shit. <laughs> um, yes, but yeah, that happened. <laughs> so, uh, Hutch, whose town do you want to go to? <clears throat> oh boy, um, Carney Town, Seafood Shopping Mall, <laughs> or Pizzavania. I like the idea of a seafood shopping mall because I've been craving sushi for the past <laughs> day, few days, and I'm actually going to get it for dinner now. So thank you. You're welcome. Wow, you really going to leave us hanging like that? Fuck. Yeah. That town doesn't even There's... have beds in it. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh no. Fun fact. Uh, well, the last time Hutch went to a seafood town, he didn't sleep in a bed. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> he slept on a couch. I I was put on the damn couch. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay because I was apparently freaking you out. You guys, you night. were. You were just like because you were sitting up and us. staring at us in the bed. Your the futon you slept on was facing the bed, and then you just slept there against the wall. It was so weird. So when you wake up in the middle of the night, it's like Hutch is just staring at you through the dark room. <laughs> Like that weird scene from the <laughs> Chappelle show where where they're trying to mock the real world and yeah yeah. <laughs> well, and the worst part was is I was waking up often because the lady at the bed and breakfast just kept like turning the air conditioning off, so I was sweating through the night. Oh no! So I just would wake up because I was sweating, and then there's Hutch <laughs> sweating against the wall. <laughs> Oh, it was a hot one. <laughs> well, it didn't help that there was like another, another like what three or four other people yeah, in another yeah. room in that building. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, but I have no um, context for whatever the fuck this is. We went to go see the uh, solar eclipse, and it was a one night stay at a bed and breakfast in uh, Charleston, South Charleston, Carolina. South Carolina, Ugh. and yeah, every <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, we were right on the beach. That was fun. We got to go to the beach. We got some crab legs and some seafood. I think originally we thought it was going to be two bedrooms, but we got there. It was one bedroom with a futon. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then like a, a hastily made addition that still had like plywood boards like exposed. Yep, yep. It was a little really weird. <laughs> um, but uh, we did get some good food on that. But uh, a, a consol- uh, consolation prize, uh, uh, I would go to Jairus's town. Um, Pizzalvania sounds amazing. I don't I need want... your charity. Pizzalvania want... is full of pizza Hey, you Draculas. shut the fuck up, Jairus. Uh, for the love of God, let me talk about how much I want to go to your pizza town and just accept it. <laughs> I want some fan art of Pizzalvania. Ah. I'm staying in Carney Town with the broken down rides that might send you to the hospital. <laughs> Brittany, the... you're one arm tattoo away from being a Carney. <laughs> I know, right? (laughs) (laughs) I dig it. I think legitimately if you got an arm tattoo and a neck tattoo, a carny would show up to sweep you away. (laughs) That's the rules. (laughs) You you gotta get a mermaid tattoo, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, well, that one we'll see on the next episode. (laughs) Bye. Bye. Have fun figuring out what this episode was about. (laughs) I will. Smash like and subscribe. (laughs)